1954, Giacana was linked to a series of attractive women, including the singer Phyllis McGuire and a call girl named Judith Exner, a woman who he allegedly would share with the future U.S. President, John F. Kennedy. It was Giacana's involvement with, some might say obsession with, politics that has provoked sustained interest in his legacy. Giacana knew Joseph Kennedy, the former ambassador to Great Britain and the father of the political dynasty that included his son, John F. Kennedy, the war hero, senator and finally president. Joseph Kennedy, who was involved with bootlegging operations during Prohibition, asked Giacana for help in rounding up votes for his son's 1960 presidential campaign. Illinois was critically important in the 1960 campaign, and Giacana's ability to deliver votes in Chicago may well have clinched the presidency for John F. Kennedy. But one of President Kennedy's first steps when he took office was to appoint his brother, Robert Kennedy, attorney general, and one of Robert's priorities was going after the mob. This did not please mob leaders, especially Giacana. About the 